In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today is the first of Ba'una. Today I want to contemplate on one of the verses of the Gospel. And it really it's a, such an important verse that we read all the time and we don't contemplate enough on. Today's uh, verse is, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Most of us know the second part of the verse, but don't focus too much on the first part of this verse. The first part of the verse really focuses on these things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. Christ only told us that in him we may have peace. We are not given uh, the green light to have peace in any scenario, in any lifestyle, in any setting. We are only given this peace while we are in Christ. And a lot of people say, we don't lead a peaceful life. We don't have joy in our life. We're not happy. And the first question that we ought to ask is, are you in Christ? Because if you are in Christ, then you will have peace. If you are outside of Christ, you cannot have peace, for he is the king of peace. How can we, be, being the children of the king of peace, not have peace? So we have to be in Christ. And that is what explains the second part of this verse. The second part of this verse says, in the world you will have tribulation. Very clearly, Christ is, is telling all of us, in this world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Why is this important that Christ has overcome the world? How does this impact me? This impacts me if I am in Christ. If I am in Christ and he has overcome the world, that means I can overcome the world. If he has overcome the world and he's the king of peace and I'm in him, that means I am in him in peacefully and I could overcome this world. These are the things that we ought to focus on. Not whether there's tribulations in the world or whether there's wars in the world or there's troubles in the world. What we ought to focus on is, are we in Christ or outside of Christ? And some of the pr very practical ways to be in Christ is to partake of the sacraments. Nothing is more beautiful than me partaking in the sacraments to be in Christ. When I'm baptized, I died with Christ and I rose with Christ. When I take communion, I take the body and the blood of Christ. He's in me and I am in him. When I repent and I confess, I'm being cleansed to be like Christ. All the sacraments that we have in the church are ways for us to be in Christ. When I stand and pray, that's a way for me to be in Christ. When I go to church, it's a way for me to be in Christ. When I forgive other people, it's a way for me to be in Christ. If I do all these things, that means I am in Christ, and at that point, I have peace. Let us not discuss whether we are leading a peaceful life or not, but let us discuss if we are in Christ or not. And let us aspire to be more in Christ in everything that we do. Let us pray more. Let us fast more. Let us partake in the sacraments, truly partake in the sacraments more. Let us take our repentance and confession seriously. All these things are ways for me to grow spiritually and to be in Christ. To God be the glory forever and ever. Amen.